Hi, and welcome to lab number three of uh, AZ700. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to do some uh, network peering. Uh, and what is interesting is that we're going to peer the uh, core services VNet with the manufacturing VNet. Um, and they are actually in different regions. So we need to do uh, global uh, virtual network peering. Um, OK, so this is a continuation from the um, labs one and two. So we're presuming that you have put everything into place um, uh, based on that. All right, so let's start by um, getting into Cloud Shell. And uh, we will again be uploading some files from the GitHub repo. This time it's going to be the manufacturing VM Azure deploy, um, as well as the uh, respective parameters file. All those are uploaded. And then we're going to deploy that. Like this, and it's going to ask us for the uh, admin password to be used. All right, that's done. So if you go to our virtual machines now, um, we should be able to see uh, three. Get rid of this one. Yeah, test VM one and two, and then the new. Uh, manufacturing uh, VM. That's good. Um, so let's connect to test VM one now. Um, I already have the um, file here from the previous lab. Let's reuse that. Um, and then we could also connect to the um, new VM. Right. Let's maybe again um, run um, IP config. To so see, we're in a different subject now. Ten thirty zero four. That's our IP address. Whereas in uh, STVM one. Over here, we had a uh, and twenty twenty five IP address. Okay, so um, so now we one of the ways that we can check for network connectivity is uh, using a PowerShell commandlet that's actually fairly nice. If I just kind of open PowerShell here. And the commandlet is called uh, test hyphen net connection. And as parameter, it takes an IP address. And that was uh, 10.20.20.5. And then we're going to use the uh, port that we know that is open, RDP 3389, to check whether this connection actually works. And it doesn't. OK. So um, how is that possible? right? So we are actually connecting to both of these instances. Um, but they can't connect to each other. Well, we could also take a look at the uh, public IP address here. So it is uh, 52.168. 
34, 255, right? That works, right? So we, we can connect to the machines via the internet using the public IPs, but we can't connect using the uh, private IP addresses. So very often we actually want to do the opposite, right? We don't want to use uh, public IPs at all, rather, you know, protect our machines and then have private connectivity between VNets only. So that way nobody can connect unless they're in our virtual network to start off with. And for that, we need to create a, a peering between the two VNets uh, as they are isolated um, themselves by, by, by default. So let's get rid of the um, RDP connection. And then let's go to our core services we get. Find it here, no. <clears throat> here, core services we get. And then here under settings, there is a tab called uh, peering. There it is. And then we need to add a peering. All right, so the remote virtual network peering name, name is um, manufacturing VNet2 or services VNet. And that is in the uh, manufacturing VNet itself. Um, then we want to allow manufacturing VNet to access core services VNet. And we want manufacturing VNet to receive all of its traffic from all services VNet. Then our link name is the other way around. So it's core services to manufacturing. And then we want the same options to be uh, available. So let's create that. All right, so we can see that that works um, from our point of view. So this is now from core services to manufacturing VNet. And then if we go over to our manufacturing VNet and uh, peerings, then we have the other way around. So manufacturing to core, and both of those are connected and fully synchronized. So now if we go back to our manufacturing VM, and try that commandlet again, connecting via the private IP address. We can see that it actually works now, right? So the same command that previously failed now works thanks to the uh, VNet peering. All right, that's it for uh, this lab. Thanks a lot for listening and uh, see you in the next one. Till then.